It's like uh, make an appointment, make a reservation, make money. Yeah, we all want to make money, don't we? Sometimes. <laughs> Nobody helps my mother to do the housework. Very nice. It's a physical activity. Do a favor. Very nice. It's an exception. Um, we make an appointment. Laundry to do. Yes, very good. All right. She always does the dishes. So um, what is also really, really important um, is we need to consider the tense or the person. You know, in English we have the first, second and third person. And when... When we talk about the third person, singular, present, tense, we look at words like he, she, it. These are what we call third person, singular, and present. And it's a very special kind of person because we would use that, we would use has, and we would add s to any verbs, of course. I'll mark spaghetti for dinner. No, no, no. <laughs> um, that is actually another language. That is what we call Afrikaans, where they would say mark instead of make. But a good try. Thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thanks, everyone. Now, can you think about why we, we do shopping and why we make a reservation and why we do grammar or make a mistake. So I can see another little mistake over here. We unfortunately we make mistakes. We have to create a mistake. And it involves a kind of a process of creation. Similar to making a mess. <laughs> English is funny, isn't it? It's quite a, an unusual language, but there are guidelines that can help us. So let's have a look at the guidelines. Okay, I will just quickly clean the board if I can. <laughs> 